This is the Volvo S80 2.4 diesel executive saloon. Plenty of chrome, two exhausts. It's perhaps conservatively styled, but very nice nevertheless. Yeah, inside, the best place on such a horrible day. <laughs> Let's just put the um, key in the ignition. And that will allow us to just show you the electric tilt slide sunroof. Now, better turn the ignition on. There we are. So, push the button up for the tilt. And down to shut it and then you pull it towards you to open the roof up. Unfortunately we're not going to want to leave it open so we'll shut it again. Now inside it's light and airy, there's plenty of cream upholstery, nice stitched leather steering wheel, lots of wood, even thick pile floor mats. Lots of room in the back for tall adults as well as our baby seat and the dog of course. There's uh, a decent rear armrest and one in the front too, which is home to the remote, if I can get it, uh, which operates the centre console. That's a nice touch, handy for your coffee. These front seats are both heated and cooled. Um, heated for the winter and cooled for the summer, which is really helpful because leather does get very sticky. This is a, a six-speed automatic gearbox, which really does get the most out of the 215 brake horsepower. Um, it's a 2.4 diesel, which will um, travel from 0 to 60 in 8.1 seconds and on to 140 miles per hour. We just start the engine up, we can just experience the cruise control, which is operated by that switch there. Now, on the right, you've got the distance of your Volvo to the car in front, which can be altered by these two switches here. can be reduced with that and increased with that. Set the maximum at the moment, but if we just reduce it, you can see it can go all the way down to there, increase it back up to there. That's the safest distance, and below is the speed that you're travelling. Obviously, we're not doing anything at the moment, so that's zero. Um, if I just tell you about the cruise control, it operates at speeds above 20 miles per hour, unless it's following a vehicle in front, and then it will um, carry on operating as long as the vehicle is moving, which is very handy when you're coming up to a, um, a roundabout or traffic lights because it will just brake and it will accelerate for you automatically, which is quite a surreal experience um, and of course you have to be very careful if you step out of your Volvo and go and drive another car because they're not all that intelligent. The issue I have with this is that you don't want to be overtaking with this function. Um, you need to ignore that and just put your foot on the accelerator as you would normally do. If you rely on this, you're not going to have the acceleration that you need in order to perform your move. Let's just turn this off now. Now, that engine is slightly noisy. It does come into the cabin, but it is diesel. And it does return 44 miles to the gallon, so you can forgive it a bit. A couple of qualms I have. Although the lights do come on automatically in a Volvo, um, if for any instance, any reason, you decide to turn them on yourself. Oh, 
and you open the door, you find there's no buzzer. In a lot of cars, there is a helpful buzzer. And unfortunately, when I did this the other night, I, um, I ended up leaving the lights on. And of course, if somebody hadn't told me, I'd have drained the battery. The other issue I have is that I had a puncture in this car. Now, I would expect in a car of this calibre that there would be a, a warning light to alert you to such an issue. Unfortunately, there wasn't, and I drove a reasonable distance, and it was only on arriving that I got out and discovered a flat back tyre. So that's something that hopefully Volvo will be able to improve upon. Apart from that, it's a really good car, um, very powerful, um, a good drive. This switch here is the um, blind spot information system. And basically, in that little square there, that will flash red if you uh, have a vehicle in your blind spot. And it'll also make a helpful noise. That's very useful, and it happens on this wing mirror too. Sometimes cars do creep into your blind spot, and it just helps uh, confirm to you that there is something there. This switch, however, irritates me, because basically it comes on automatically when you turn the engine on, and it um, it means that the vehicle there's there's noise every time the vehicle strays over the centre of the road, um, or there's something in its path, and that can happen quite frequently. It just becomes really irritating, so I turn that off. You've got three functions for the suspension: comfort, which I tend to use all the time. Um, or you've got sport for a more engaging ride, um, slightly harder or advanced. Of course there's air conditioning, electric windows and electrically heated wing mirrors. And you saw when we entered they fold as well. and a good size boot.